Diamond sprinkles, gemstones lined up like button candy. Six and a half millimeter Burma with a report. If you like sparkles, Paul Dragon is your guy. He's a loose gem wholesaler and owner of Boston Gems in the Jewelers Building in downtown Crossing. Boston Gems is not open to the public, just to retailers and designers from across the country. A gem wholesaler is usually the first or second person that's able to obtain gems after they come out of the ground. We have the luxury of seeing several different suppliers and are able to pick some of the finest colors, finest shapes that are available to us. Being able to create and collect the right stones for the right price, the right sizes for what's used every day in the trade, that's the key. Stones from all over the world are shipped to Dragon or carried to him by suppliers. I'm confident that we're buying close to $100,000 a stone a year, and I have at least 16 different categories here. Dragon says all of his stones are tracked from the mine to the showcase. We are absolutely fair trade and putting our best foot forward with reliably sourced gems. Are the people being paid adequate wages? Are the conditions safe? A Winchester native, Dragon has long been fascinated by gems. Oh That's perfect. Okay. I grew up with a single parent and Saturday mornings were for shopping and next door to the supermarket was a jeweler. The jeweler is still a customer of mine today. I would sit out in front of his window and I was absolutely in awe. My favorite gemstone really has to be sapphire. Sapphire comes in every single color except for red. When it comes in red, they call it ruby. Another favorite, moonstone, for which Boston Gems is well known. I will say we have one of the best collections of moonstone in the country. Tourmaline is also a specialty. We have some very, very fine alexandrite from Brazil. That's a stone that actually changes color with different light sources. Emerald cut 10 by 8, aquamarine. Dragon is always ready with the latest glittering treasures. Customers start showing up in the early morning. Thank, thank you for you your Paul. business. No, thank you. And he says Bostonians tend to lean towards traditional stones, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Opal and aquamarine, also popular. And moonstone, which you saw, he That's says so is gaining pretty. in popularity all across the country. So there, there you, you go. go. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shannon Seymour. Have a good one. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.